Dow Jones Industrial Average hits 20,000 for first time ever. The Dow Jones Industrial Average has eclipsed 20,000 for the first time ever, boosted by optimism around President Donald Trump's pro-growth policies. Traders cheered from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange as the blue chip index hit the historic mark. The rally in the Dow, which had stalled in recent weeks after peaking at 19,999.63 on January 6, was reignited by Mr. Trump's signing of numerous executive orders since his inauguration on Friday, including the go-ahead to move forward with the construction of two controversial oil pipelines. Great. Number DOW20K Mr. Trump tweeted early Wednesday. Great. Number DOW20K HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash wxxbulgag. The Dow rose more than 100 points out of the gate, boosted by strong quarterly earnings from Boeing. Caterpillar shares rallied as investors bet Mr. Trump's infrastructure spending plans will boost the construction industry. The Dow recently stood at 20,051.72, up 138.01 points from the previous day's close. Since Election Day alone, the Dow has risen more than 9%. But the Trump rally had been sputtering of late as investors sought clarity on his growth initiatives, with some fretting that his protectionist stance toward trade with China and Mexico could eventually tank the economy. Analysts may have been incorrect in focusing on specific Trump policies instead of looking at the big picture, Bruce Biddle, chief investment strategist at R.W. Baird, told the New York Post. The market is looking at this from a macro perspective, we're moving from an administration that was anti-business to one that is pro-business, Mr. Biddle said. Lofted by a 4% rise in fourth quarter 2016 earnings, Mr. Biddle predicts that the 20,000 level will be the new support level for the Dow. The rally occurred even before an easing of tax regulations and other anti-business regulations actually happened, he said. The S&P 500 and the Nasdaq Composite also hit fresh, all-time highs early Wednesday after closing at record levels on Tuesday as the post-election rally roared back to life. Trump this week also pushed chief executives of the big three U.S. automakers to create jobs by building more plants in the United States. Shares of Ford, General Motors and Fiat Chrysler were all up in early trading. The dollar, however, dropped to a near seven-week low on Wednesday of 99.84 as concerns about Trump's protectionism stance on trade lingered. This article originally appeared in the New York Post.